Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's read from the timeless collection of Kamla Das. Let's read today Padmavati, the harlot. Let's begin with the story. When Padmavati, the middle-aged harlot, finally reached the foot of the shrine, climbing the seven hills and stumbling along the winding passes that separated each from the other, dusk was a giant bird with its wing spread out. shading the temple the banyan tree and the stone lamps in which the oiled wicks burned on feebly she could only see the outlines of the shrine when she paused to peer upwards i am late she said to herself hitching up her sari and proceeding to go up the steps the loafers loitering around approached her and looked at her plump calves with lewd smile shall we help you lady they asked her noticing the red blouse that she wore the tinsel in her hair and the beetle satin on her full lips i have come from the city to see the lord she told them i have been wanting to come here for the past 33 years but something or the other has kept me busy all this time first i had to tend to my ailing mother who lay paralyzed for 7 years before she died one day turning her face away from me in disgust then i had the responsibility of educating my brothers who got good jobs in other cities and forgot me i had also to marry off my sister to a man who was willing to do it for a big dowry after the marriage she has not once written to me but i am not complaining who can blame them who will want to consort with a woman like me only idlers like you bother to talk to me nobody loves me only the lord perhaps he has any feeling for me but he may have forgotten too you talk too much lady said one of the young men you are not young but you are charming enough for one evening or two your breasts are still firm your haunches set our loins on fire won't you be kind enough to grant us your favors The rest of the group laughed. The woman was flushed with anger. "Do not make such request to me at this moment," she said. "I have come to see the Lord. This is not the right time for such talk." "What is in your hand?" asked the young man, pulling at the basket she was clutching. "It is a basket of fruits," she said. "I am taking it as an offering." The young man removed it from her hand and began to eat the fruits. spitting the pips out noisily your lord cannot eat these fruits but we can they said laughingly she felt her eyes moisten with tears you are brutes she said you have no pity for a woman old enough to be your mother you are not our mother said the young man who had spoken to her first what is your name lady my name is padmavati said the woman padmavati you have arrived too late said the young man the shrine is closed for the night and the pujari has left for his home you cannot see your lord but i cannot return to the city without seeing him said the woman i have been walking from morning to be able to reach here for the evening's puja what can i do now keep us company this night o padmavati said the idlers tomorrow you can worship the lord padmavati turned and walked up the stone steps to reach the temple yard the door was shut the lamps were burning low she looked around in fear she could not see the young men at the foot of the hill even the leaves of the banyan did not move in sudden terror she rushed to the heavy door and knocked on it with her fist then the door opened its hinges winning she lowered her eyes she saw only two feet with her bejeweled toes but she fell over them with tears flowing from her eyes she kissed the toes with love help me o lord i am only a poor harlot she cried i have always wanted to see you but until today i did not get a chance i was busy looking after my family lending my body to strangers who hated me and then hated themselves padmavati rise said the lord embracing her with his arms she could hardly see his face it was dark inside the sanctum sanctorum i have nothing to give you lord she said i had brought some fruits in a basket 
but the loafers at the foot of the seventh hill snatched it from me. Now there is nothing to give you. If you were a man, I would have given you my body, stale and aging, but you are a god. What can I give you? She felt the warmth of his body against her own. She closed her eyes in ecstasy. At dawn, she left the precincts of the shrine and walked down the steps with her hair dishevelled and her blouse torn in places. She blushed like a bride when the young men at the foot of the hill came near her and looked at her face. There were bruises on her cheeks and on her white throat. Her lips were swollen and blue. There was a fatigue in her eyes. She hid her face behind her long hair and walked fast. The young men let her pass. bowing before her and murmuring mother go in safety give us your blessings and go your way dear friends this is the end of the small story please stay tuned for another story also do like share and subscribe the channel